all, amazing film, great job. Um, this film kind of fits right into your filmography, being a family drama, but with mind-bending science fiction. Uh, what is it about the story that uh, current times and modern day can kind of relate to about this story? All right, the, the, what's, what we've witnessed is the, the uh, dismantling of the family units, of, of the normal norms that we live by, whether they be state or church or family, in this day and age, they're all being challenged. And uh, we, we, we suffer for that. Sure. And uh, this, this is to do with family. Uh, this is how, how, what is it that drives us as parents, grandparents, to be prepared to give everything for another human being? And we do. Something happens to our genes when we have children, I tell you, or gra uh, grandchildren. So that's that story. That's a great love story in there. And, uh, and then I got to work with Melina Matthews, who's just amazing. Yeah. Actress. And uh, with Lorena's gentle touch in there. And so it was a love story, really. Beautiful story. And, and this man had to face that challenge. How far will I go? So interesting that you say that, mainly because I took away as a science fiction story. But at its core, it is a love story. It's definitely about a family love story. Um, so what got you interested into the project? Because it is a pretty complex project. It was sent to me uh, 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 as a group skill. And I, I, I was interested initially. Because to be honest with you, because it was uh, uh, written and directed by Lorena, sure. who I didn't know personally, but I just thought this is fascinating. Shot in Mexico. Then, then I looked at the script and the role, and I thought this role was actually fantastic for me. Uh, those combination of factors, we, we were able to fit it in with some really crazy traveling backwards and forwards between places. Uh, I'm so thrilled I did it. Now, um, would you make, if you had this stone, would you, uh, with unknowing consequences, would you make a sacrifice in order to use the stone, or would you rather not hinder with time? Personal question. It's a question we don't know until such time as we're faced. And uh, you know, example I would give, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a woman with a, with a pusher, and she's about to walk onto the road. I can go and save that child, probably get killed or hurt. Do I do it or do I stand back? Do I see someone being beaten up in the street? This is important. Someone being beaten up in the street by some thug, what do I do? Do I go in there and help that person or do I say, sure. These are the challenges we face on a daily basis. We'd like to think we'd go and help, but. I, it's a great morality question, which is kind yeah, of like, it's totally. it's totally from modern times. Now you said you, you shot this all in Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, is this your first time doing extensive shooting in Mexico like this? Yes, I've never shot there before. I've been there a few times uh, for fun. And we've had some lovely times there. No, I've never filmed there before. And uh, I would go again. We just had a, a, a splendid time and it's a gorgeous country. Rumor has it that you fell in love with uh, quesadillas. Is this true? I'm a quesadilla man, <laughs> but it wasn't there. I, just, I don't know what it is. I just love quesadillas. <laughs> and so that's when I go out somewhere or other. I look at the quesadillas. My wife will say, if you don't have quesadillas, it's all right. You know, it's primitive, isn't it? I have a quesadilla <laughs> and a coffee, please. And I go to some places now where I live and they don't even ask me anymore. They just bring it out. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Um, so with reading the script, it, sometimes science fiction is very hard to visualize. Mm -hmm. uh, so what was it about the uh, script, a moment in the script that actually drew you in, you were like, you know what, I have to do this project. That's a very good question. Let me just think. It, it would uh, be, it, it, there, there were some scenes with, uh, uh, there were some scenes with, the, with his uh, granddaughter just were just heartbreaking uh, in the second uh, part of his thing. Uh, some of those with Melina were just, I mean, I couldn't get through them sometimes. Really? There was one in particular, I just, uh, <sighs> I kept choking up on it. So, so powerful. Yeah, it, it, almost from the beginning of the movie, it starts that way because it, it kind of drops you into this this scenario with a family, yeah. and and it's unexpected. I feel like I think it's unexpected, but if you, but as a study of human nature or as a morality tale, as you said, absolutely right, and that's why the film's important. We need to be reminded that life is not to do with stinking politicians. Yeah. And it's not to do with aggressive countries somewhere else or building walls. It's nothing to do with that. It's to do with people loving each other and finding a way. And that's family. And that keeps happening.